Well, we have a, a Bass a Twin Otter here and it's fully equipped with uh, airborne geophysics equipment, uh, which we're going to deploy in one of the most remote regions in Antarctica, Dome A, which is the highest point on the East Antarctic ice sheet. And the aircraft is equipped with uh, magnetic pods and inside them we have some sensors that measure the magnetic field. And this allows us to understand the geology under the ice sheet. We also have radar antennas and these antennas uh, generate a signal which goes through the ice and allows us to see how thick the ice is and the layers that lie within the ice. They allow us to look at the bedrock topography and to image subglacial lakes. And finally, aboard in the aircraft, right inside, in the center of gravity of the aircraft, we have a gravimeter and that allows us to look at how dense the rocks are and therefore to complement the magnetics in describing the geology beneath the ice sheet. What we're doing is absolutely essential because uh, when we try and understand how ice sheets will react to climate change and how in fact even ice sheets formed, we must know something about the landscape under the ice sheet. And the geology itself plays a fundamental role in the dynamics of ice sheets. Ice sheets are uh, basically uh, pretty stable in the interior of continents, but on the margins they are changing rapidly and they respond very, very quickly really to both uh, climate change and internal uh, mechanisms which govern ice dynamics. So with airborne geophysics we look at both the uh, glaciology, so the ice sheet, and the geology under the ice sheet. And uh, this program will be flying in Antarctica this year as part of a major international program which will include China, Australia, Germany, the US and of course the British Antarctic Survey.